Yo, 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 yo guys. Welcome back on board. Today, we're gonna create something really dope. Just look at these examples. Yeah, I know. They look unbelievable. Today we'll make this awesome transition. So prepare some tea for you and your brain. And let's get started. <laughs> Alright, happy to see you again, for that kind of transition, we should have the footage like this one. As you can see, we have exact edges that we can mask on the phone, and then fly in and out of this mask, so you can use different objects to make this transition, like a cup, watches, or your ass. Next, add this composition with video into the new one. I'll use these settings for the composition. Then, duplicate the video, find the moment when the object is in the frame, and right click, time, freeze frame. Freeze! You guys over there, freeze! Everybody freeze! Good, now your video Stop stops. It. Then, we should make a mask around the object. As an object I'll use the screen on the phone. Very nice. Now let's invert this mask. So right now we have a hole inside our footage. Whoops. Let me add masks on the fingers too. Then, let's create a camera. Then create null. And parent camera to the null. Now we can control the camera with this null. After that, find the point where you'll start camera animation, and set the first keyframe on the position. The second one set after a few seconds, and change the Z value to minus 20,000. Then select these keyframes, go to the graph editor, and make it like this. Now, we have animation. Copy the first keyframe, and paste it after the second one. And also make graphs like this. Now let's make it more interesting. Let's send an animation on rotation. Set the first keyframe on Z rotation. And then set the last keyframe. And make the value of one turn. Cool. Now create the keyframe between these two keyframes. And in the graph editor make them look like this. Now let's do some magic with the layers. We will change the position of this stop layer. Make the Z axis. For example minus 900. Then apply CC Repertile effect on the video. Make the settings like this. And choose unfold here. Now this layer has tiling. So we'll not see black areas. Next, let's duplicate this layer a lot of times. Before that, I'll use expressions. Just copy this expression, check the comments, and paste it to the position value. Hold alt and click on this watch. Cool, that the magic became true. Now if you duplicate the layer, Z position will change automatically. OMG om gof gof. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Thanks. Now you look at animation, you'll see a lot of new layers. But you know what? Let's add a different rotation on these layers. And now I'm using a bit of a different expression. Just to make it work on the rotation value. That's it. Now we have this spittle looking. Oh yeah, we almost finished. Still want to make something crazy? Check the link below. And take your pack of different elements. That will help you in your life. There is 33% discount right now. And welcome to my website. Oh my god. What was that? Never mind. Let's continue. Add motion blur to all the layers. And also turn it on here. 
Then go to the setting of this composition. Go to advance, and set shutter angle to 90. Now, we reduce the amount of blur, and now it looks way better. Now, let's copy the reptile effect and paste it on all layers. Now, to make colorful layers, apply the colorama effect, and paste this effect on every second layer. Good, now apply the hue saturation effect on the layers where the colorama is, and make changes on hue value on each layer. For example, change angle every 20 degrees. Very good, now we have different colors on each colorful layer, and you can see that we didn't use any drugs. Also, let's change focal length on the camera, open camera properties, and animate zoom value when you have a transition. Like this, now we have some kind of vertigo effect. Let me change some keyframes a bit. Like this, yes, and, we're almost... Fuck, fuck. I think I forgot to save the fucking project. But let me check. Shit, I guess I need to make it everything again. Now I come back to the checkpoint. Now let's add some interesting movements to the camera. Apply a slider effect to the null. Then we need to pair and wiggle the camera to this slider. Alt and click on the watch. Then type wiggle, open brackets, then any value that you want. But how do parents wiggle to slider? Easy. Select the null object and click on this lock. Cool. Then go back to the expression. Click after the coma, and parent to the slider. And add a close bracket at the end. That's all. Now just animate this slider from 0 to any value, and you'll get wiggle right where you need. I think this is too much, so let's adjust it. Also I need to reposition the last keyframe, because I've changed the focal length. Nice, good, great, awesome, cool. We're almost done with all animation, so let's make the loop itself. Duplicate the video layer, shift like this, so it begins again. Then go to the first keyframe of this layer and make a freeze frame. Put this layer like this on the timeline, and make a simple opacity animation. And now to make the loop perfect, just find the last layer in the first part of the video, so you can change the render region, and perfectly loop the video. Also, animate the scale from 0 to 100, on the layer that appears at the end. Then cut it on the second keyframe, and using script that called motion 2. Select the scale parameter, and click on excite button, make the settings like this one, and now layer bouncing after camera finish the animation. Nice, I love it, now let's make some color correction. Add the deep glow effect. Make these settings, and drop the opacity to 70%. Very dope. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. But this is not the end. Let's make a test render, to see the result. 
and make some sound effects for it, but I'm really tired. As you. I know, so let's just make a small break, I'll play some games, you'll do sports, alright alright, thank you. Welcome back, how do you feel? Good, now everything what left to do, it's to add some sound. In a few minutes, give me... Alright, so I added shine effect on the first transition and also some optics compensation when the transition played. And here is the final result. Call your friends and let's watch this together. <laughs> oh yeah, that's really dope. I hope you think the same. Thank you for being here, and happy to see you here again. Don't forget to leave some comments, or ideas. I want to hear something from you. And on this wonderful note, I'll go to sleep. Goodbye my bitches.